Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the press conference of Kerala Blasters FC. Um, kindly note that uh, please ask your questions to the player first, after which we can go ahead with the coach. Can we have our first question for the player, please? Ashwiti, you can ask your first question to the player. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, uh, coach. Good afternoon, chief coach. So I have one question for you, for the player. So a team that attacks together and a team that defends together, that is what everyone is describing KBFC now. So a sudden rise after the 4-2 defeat in the opening game. Many judge that this team will repeat the same old history. How did the team manage to overcome the initial dip and manage to race towards a bigger goal? Before everything, hello. Uh, okay, after first game, uh, we talk a lot of behind our success. I mean, success, it's a lot of hard work. We are here together almost five months and we know it from beginning what we're going to do. Uh, after uh, first game, we need stability. We need uh, games where, we'll, where we don't uh, concede goals, which uh, we as defender provide some insurance. And after that, uh, it was easier to, to build on that uh, something better. And uh, after games, we didn't lose. Of course, after victories, always victories bring more victories. And that's a, that's a key. Uh, coach uh, made great job from beginning, and uh, that's uh, he gave a lot of confidence to all players and the players who play, and uh, especially for the players on the bench. And when you see every time where a new player step in, he make a good good job because he know that coach uh, have confidence in him, that his teammates believe him, and it's it's very easy to play in this team with this coach. Uh, thank you, uh, Coach. I have one question for you. Uh, as the COVID cases in the bubble are rising and it says that KBFC haven't trained for three days. So what are your opinions on that? Well, it's obviously not easy seeing the circumstances that not only uh, our club, but so far I think nine clubs are in uh, lockdown and it's obviously not easy. And, uh, you know, nobody's talking anymore about the football. Nobody's talking anymore about the football games because everybody's concerned, you know. And seeing that, especially many of the many of the teams in uh, in our expeditions, we have uh, families, wives, children, uh, pregnant wives, you know. And then uh, it just like uh, have a feeling like have a feeling like it's passing the virus one to each other, you know. When you face somebody, when you face the when the teams meet each other, and it's just like a chain process. So uh, even last night, then it, 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 brings, it brings us to the situation where uh, if you as a team, you don't train for a days, so you don't prepare for the game, and then you go for the game. So what we, what we will see, we will see uh, bad football, bad game, and uh, nothing but the injuries. And uh, now we are also in a part of the season where it can affect uh, one player's career, it can affect uh, one player's status. And also last night in the game, we saw that, again, some of the injuries that can mean uh, for some players the end of the season. So, so far, of course, it concerns a lot, everybody. And, uh, you know, in those circumstances, uh, you know, you think about many other things uh, rather than, uh, than football and the, the games. So hope that everybody will stay safe, healthy. Uh, I'm very confident in uh, people from ISL uh, because they have everything under control by testing and uh, organizing all these things around. But of course, it's not easy because you don't go for a training. Uh, uh, you're not going to the training grounds and everything. So you are not capable of preparing uh, games, and especially speaking about playing for uh, victories or for the points. So, you know, who cares? So because everybody thinks you know, how to uh, avoid stupid situation, how not to get infected. And, uh, you know, if we see the everything what's happening worldwide, so around the world, and so it's probably inevitable. And again, seeing the games being cancelled and uh, 
you know, not the same feeling, not the same feeling. We, uh, we don't have the feeling like it's competition. We have, we don't have the feeling like, uh, you know, it's weird. It's weird. I don't know how to describe, how to explain. So we are waiting. We, uh, we have to stay patient, of course, careful, safe, thinking about uh, being very responsible as a human beings, because it's not only about uh, playing games or, uh, because now we have to be responsible in a way as a human beings not to spread virus around, you know, because we don't know if we are all now the possible carriers of virus that can uh, infect other people in two, three, four days or something. So we don't know. We don't know. So, so far we are all concerned. We are all in the part of this uh, story, this nice story, uh, which is ISL. But from the other side, we have also to think and be uh, very careful. So we'll see. We'll see. We are here to wait and uh, wait for the answers and hopefully that ISL will have uh, and sort it out because so far they have everything under control. We're happy because of that. Thank you, Coach. All the best for the next game and stay safe. Thank you. Uh, hello, Coach. Hello, Sipovic. I'm Krishnan from God's Own Football. Hey, Hi. Krishnan. Hi. Hi. Uh, so, I'll just ask my question to Sipovic first. Uh, Sipovic, uh, you have been in the bubble for past two seasons, like in ISL for past two seasons. So, can you just explain to the fans how hard it is to be in the bubble and uh, play the games so that uh, they can understand how hard it is? Actually, it's my third season to play in, in kind of bubble. I started in Qatar when Corona started. Uh, we we experienced this kind of uh, of games, and I have to be honest, guys, it's it's really not simple. It's not uh, easy, especially when you are close in your room. You you think only how to not get uh, positive, to not get Perfect. virus, especially when you have uh, your wife, kids, uh, somebody with you. And in my case, uh, I have really to take care. Of, uh, of my wife because we are expecting baby and it's not easy uh, psychically and physically too because you cannot do trainings you cannot get outside you you have no many many things to do but this is this is uh, what we have to to do to finish season and like coach said we are confident in uh, our people from federation that they take care of us and they do all in the best way so yeah, in the end, we like we like coach said, we have to be patient and to wait. It's not simple. It's really not simple. I probably many of people experience that at home when they get uh, COVID positive and they had to stay two weeks at home, separate from family. You know, many things go through your mind and uh, physically you cannot move a lot of. And it's really, it's really like coach said, you don't think anymore about football. You don't think about your profession. You think just. Uh, when this thing gonna get out? Okay, thank you, Super. All the best for you. Um, thank you. I'll keep you in your my prayers. Uh, coach, I I would like to um, first of, first of all before asking question, I have to let you know that a uh, lot of fans messaged me saying that they have to uh, say to you my uh, their thanks. Uh, so I am just conveying that to you. Thank you very much, Ashwin. Yeah. Krishna, so sorry. My question, yeah, yeah, that's, my question is like you keep on stretch, uh, stressing in your post-match interactions as well as, as well as in pre-match that we have to stay humble and work hard uh, so that uh, we stay grounded. So is that your biggest challenge now managing expectation of both fan base and players in, in coming days? Uh, well, I have to be honest, you know, in professional sport, and I'm now speaking from my uh, personal uh, experience, as a former player, I managed in my life to win uh, several times uh, titles in different countries, several times uh, the Cups. And, you know, the moment you start during your season, which is long, you know, the moment you start being relaxed and the moment you start getting that uh, euphoria, speaking and announcing big words and uh, saying certain things as a team, uh, then you crumble. 
then everything is destroyed. Because as a team, you have to stay focused and concentrate if you want to continue your positive attitude, positive energy, and the way you want to win games. The moment you start being relaxed, thinking that you are the best in the world, that you are uh, the top of the table, then you're done. You're finished. Okay? Because uh, reaching the summit of uh, one mountain or reaching the top of one league, it can be uh, sometimes much easier than to stay on top. Okay? So from our side, well, why I'm saying that? Because we want to stay uh, concentrated on our job because we know that in this league, nobody will uh, offer us anything. Nobody will give us anything. We have to fight for that. And the only way to fight for that and to achieve that is by uh, staying together as a team, focused and concentrated. And in a professional spo the sport, the moment you think that you are the best or uh, start being arrogant, you're finished, you're done, your history. So we don't want to get that. That's why I accept and I can understand the uh, emotions and euphoria, but we from our side as a coaching staff and as a team, we cannot do that. Okay, so we have to stay focused till the end. We have to fight. And if, if, if at the end we reach and we achieve certain things, okay, there will be moments to, uh, to, to cheer and have fun. So far, we have to stay focused on our job because it's not finished. We are just halfway uh, and we still have games. We still don't know if we're going to play those games or not because with the uncertainty and this situation, it's, it's not sure. You know, you never know if you're going to have players to uh, or... Uh, available uh, team for the games. So that's why I'm talking, uh, because I've, I've witnessed so many times in my life the teams being in the same situation like we are now and starting uh, announcing and speaking with the big, uh, you know, words and, you know, left and right saying certain things and then they crumble. And the teams who are most concentrated and most focused at, till the end, they are winners, you know, because you... Every race you have to run till the end. So we are already at the half of the race. That's why. Okay. Thank you, coach. Thank you, Sipa. All the best for. Thank you, Krishna. Thank you, Krishna. All the best. Thank you, Krishna. Yeah. Stay safe. Uh, coach, we have a question from Malayala Manorama. Actually, we have two. Uh, okay. One is you studied well the playing style and strategies of Mumbai City FC and did a good preparation with a clinical plan ahead of the match against them in December. And they failed to record a single win after that day. What kind of changes you observe in Mumbai City's approach, playing style and strategies after that defeat on December 19th? Well, it was one of the games in our competition where we wanted to, to play on a, on a certain way. Uh, of course, we were pleased with the, with the way we played that game and we uh, achieved the victory and three points. Uh, since then, we are trying to uh, modify every time our approach and play on a different styles, you know, and different moments. So uh, for tomorrow's game, I can't say nothing because uh, we didn't prepare the game. We didn't train. And uh, we still don't know nothing if the game will, uh, game will be played. So uh, I cannot say nothing about our uh, strategy or approach for tomorrow's game because there were no preparations. So it's been now a couple of days. We are not training. We are in a lockdown. We are sitting in our rooms uh, without getting possibility to go on the pitch and prepare, the, prepare for the game. So I think that all these moments now, whatever happened in December or in the previous games, you know, if there are to be game or uh, like I said, like we saw the last night or all the next games, like I just think that it will be like a bad football and uh, many injuries. So that's all from the other side. You cannot pre prepare certain things if there is no time for preparation. So we don't, we still don't know if we are, if we're going to get uh, time to, to train uh, today or in the next day. It's, who knows? Who knows? So then uh, if you speak about our opponents, they have their, uh, uh, it, it's it's up to you know we, we cannot speak about anybody else because uh, we cannot control those things we don't know what's uh, what's happening on the other side so you know we are since the beginning we are more concerned and concentrating on ourselves and the things that we want to do on the pitch you know more than uh, about our opponents so and uh, that's the way that we want to improve and that's the way that we want to go forward so 
now again for tomorrow's game <laughs> we don't know we cannot say nothing because we uh we didn't prepare nothing for that game we are not ready for that game so we don't know if and how many players we're going to have tomorrow so nothing certain we'll see okay thank you coach we can have the last question from marcus sir yeah can i ask hi coach uh, marcus from the times of india hey marcus hi how are you coach good good uh, coach you know uh, you spoke earlier about uh, the risk of injuries if the if the players played uh, the match tomorrow without having proper training uh, since kerala blasters have not trained for the last two days and they are unlikely to to train uh, today as well yeah do you think the most sensible or the more wiser thing would be to just postpone the match tomorrow is that what you are looking at or actually hoping for no i don't look at it as a, as an option and i i i would like that we continue playing everybody you know but then the circumstances around us like around the world it's not it's not only about our bubble now in isl but again i am fully confident in the in the people from isl that they will uh, sort everything uh, like it has to be done and uh, uh but from the other side you know there are two things if we speak about football uh, from a physical side it is not uh easy for players you know for the players to uh, without training to go and uh, play the game because if you are not in a rhythm you go to play the game where the effort exhausts you and then uh, you lose a lot of liquid and in the one moment uh, there are muscles like just getting injured and so today in this moment like uh, your muscle when you get injured it's at least 6 weeks out so when you get injured you're out for 6 weeks 7 weeks so it means for you competition is done for you isl is done okay from the other side as a human being you know being responsible uh, knowing that again like you repeat you could be the this virus carrier that you can uh, you know infect other people or uh, that we can infect each other i don't know whatever club meeting uh, in the bus in a dressing room on the pitch uh, whatever you know that kind of feeling is uh, it doesn't give you a kind of confidence and that's why uh, you don't have fully concentration for the game of course for the players it's exhausted because one injury can mean uh, that for you the season is done you know career because we are only now in january it means that after you know the season is done you will not be capable of playing till uh, the next season so it's a long period so the players are not in that mood and uh, you know uh, it's weird it's weird now in this situation and hope that like i say we have fully confidence in uh, our medical staff and the people who are here from the federation testing us and everything having under control so we are grateful for them really we are grateful for all these things and now hopefully uh, i don't know we will see the decision we'll see what uh, i don't know if today's game is going to be played i don't know i was not following up until now it is cancelled yeah it is postponed yeah, you see yeah you see so we don't know you know we don't know with all these uncertainty we don't know because uh, it can burst any day anywhere like like we have information so far nine nine teams are in uh, in lockdown so very uh, very unpleasant very unpleasant we will do our best we will do the things that of course with the club's management and everything so because we want to continue this uh, this quest we want to continue the league we want to continue uh, playing but you know, we don't know we'll do our best if if it's asked so okay. we'll see all the best for the season coach and stay safe thank you thank you you too guys stay safe bye bye thank you everyone uh, with that we'll conclude our cc all the best thank you angela thank you stay safe thank you thank you you too guys be safe take care bye bye